Hey everyone, I'd like to thank you all for commenting and voting in my last video. I had over 1,100 comments in less than a week, which is pretty amazing. I looked through the comments section and I checked to see which comments had the most thumbs up, and the one with the highest rating was this comment here that had 88 votes and basically said to do both of them. Now, I would like to do both, but I did ask which tutorial would be next, because I don't want to put two of them in one video. So the next highest rated comment was this one here that had 81 votes and basically said to do the ninja star, the double ninja star, and I think most people agree because I also put a poll up and 66% of people out of about 500 votes want to see the ninja star. The same thing with my Facebook wall. So I think most people really want to see the tutorial for the dist 8. The double interlocked single sided transforming 8 pointed ninja star. I think we're just going to go with double ninja star instead. I apologize for those who really wanted to see the heart in time for Valentine's Day, especially this guy. I hope you can find another gift, and I would like to do a tutorial sometime in the near future. For this tutorial, we need to know how to make two single-sided ninja stars. Now, I do have a tutorial for this, but I'm going to show you a better way to do it. You're going to need one piece of printer paper if you'd like to use one color. If you want to use two colors, like the one I have here, then you're going to need two sheets. We need to start out with two halves of a letter-sized paper. Since I'm using two different colors, I'm going to take two full-size sheets, fold them both in half, and then cut them or tear them along this line here. If you're using one color, then you only need to do it for one sheet. Take both of the halves now, and you're going to hold them both horizontally. Then take the top end, fold it down to the bottom end, make a crease along the top, do the same for the other sheet. Now what I like to do is to run my fingernail a few times against the top of that crease and then hold both of the edges facing downwards like this and then you could just tear them in half. Now we've split the paper into quarters and we only need two of them in order to make one ninja star. The ninja star pieces are made the exact same way. They all look like the letter Z. I'm going to go through with you how to make two of them to make one ninja star, and then you can make the other two to make the second ninja star. Hold both of the pieces horizontally like this, and take the top end of the paper and fold it down to the bottom end of the paper. Once you have the edges neatly aligned, then make a crease along the top. Then we could take the left side of the paper and fold it across to the right side. So once the edges are neatly lined up, might need to just round it off here and make a crease on the left. Now you can open it up and you'll see we have this halfway point. I'm going to make a mark there so you can see it a little easier. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the top edge here and fold it down onto that halfway point, just like this. Once you've lined it up, make a crease on the outside. Then we're going to take the left side here and fold this bottom edge up onto that midline, just like this. Make a crease on the outside. Now what we could do is flip the piece of paper over. And you'll see we have the top edge and the bottom edge here. And we're going to fold the top edge right onto this edge of the paper here. So fold it all the way down just like that, and then make a crease. Now you could take the bottom edge and fold it up onto that edge there. And then make another crease. So you should have something that looks like this. Now we're going to take the upper right corner and fold it down to the lower left corner. Take the upper right corner, fold it down, just like that, and make a crease. Now, we could take the lower left corner and fold it up to the upper right corner here. So just fold it like this, and make a crease on the outside. And there you go, that's how to make one of the pieces, it's not so bad. So then you could fold the top down, and then you could fold the little bottom triangle up like this. Now you should have something like this, and we're going to do the same for the other piece of paper. Take the top end, fold it down to the bottom end, fold the paper in half like this, 
make a crease, open it, right side goes down onto that midline, left side goes up, flip it over, top goes down, the bottom goes up, and then the same thing, upper right corner down to the lower left corner, bottom left corner to the upper right corner. Fold them both inwards, and there you go. Now you have two pieces. Now I'll show you how to interlock the two pieces together in order to get your ninja star. Remember, the pieces are exactly the same and they look like the letter Z. Also make sure that these little points or tips are facing towards you. I think some people had a little bit of trouble in my other tutorial because the paper was twice as thick and I also went a little bit quickly so I'll take it nice and slow. You're going to take the right piece and you're going to turn it to the left like this until this little edge here is horizontal and pointed to the left just like that. Then you're going to put the red piece on top of the blue piece. Now you'll see in the middle you have what looks like an X formed by the two pieces. We're going to start with any one of these flaps, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to take this flap here and fold it inwards to the middle of the two pieces. So take this and fold it in just like that, right on top of the red piece. Then we're going to go in a clockwise direction. So just take the next piece and fold it on top of the first piece. Then we can go to this piece. Now it's easier to make sure that these pieces are a little curved or bent like this. So just bend them and put it on top. It's just like that. So we have one, two, three. We're going to take the last piece and you also want to make sure that it's curved or bent like this. Then you're going to put it over the third piece and underneath the first piece into this little pocket right there. So you want to fold it like this, put it over the third piece and underneath the first piece right in that little pocket. Then you could push it all the way in and make sure everything is nice and flat by pushing down on it. And there you go, it shouldn't be that bad. Here's a ninja star. Now that you know how to interlock the two pieces together to get the ninja stars, it should be pretty easy for you to interlock two of the stars together in order to get the double ninja star. If you take a look at the ninja star, you'll see that it has this little sleeve on the back, and it's these sleeves of the ninja stars that allow two of them to interlock together. So we're going to take a blue piece from the left ninja star and a red piece from the right ninja star. It doesn't really matter, you can use the same color, it's just easier to see this way. Now we're going to flip the piece on the right upside down and you'll see now these flaps or tips are facing downwards away from us. Now we could put the red piece on top of the blue piece just like this. And you'll see that these edges touch each other or align just like that and it almost looks like an 8. Now I want you to ignore this red piece. Just pretend it's not there and then take the other red piece that normally interlocks with the blue piece and do the same thing that I just showed you. Put it on top of the blue piece and then we're going to just interlock these two pieces together like we normally would. So fold the blue piece in. There's the first flap, second flap. Here's the third one, just make sure that it's curved and fold it over the red piece and then the last one again make sure that it's curved fold it over the third piece and underneath the first piece just like that so there you go you have the first ninja star re-interlocked and you'll see if you flip it over that you have this piece kind of underneath that little sleeve so now you can hold this piece like this with these two flaps facing towards you and then take the other piece and do the same thing. Position it directly over this blue piece just like that. So now you'll see you have a cross in the middle and then the same thing. Take the red piece now and fold it in. Do the same thing. We're going to fold in a clockwise direction. So do this one next. 
Then you could fold this red piece. Might have to shift it around a little bit. And then you take the last blue piece, round it off. You're going to go over the third piece and underneath the first piece, just like that. So just tuck it in like that. And there you go. You have the double ninja star. Now to kind of transform it, what you want to do is to twist the top star clockwise like that. And you'll see they'll kind of align. You can see the other one from behind. But all you need to do now is to just twist it counterclockwise like that. And you have the double ninja star. Thanks for watching my tutorial for the double ninja stars. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did like the video, be sure to click the thumbs up or like button down below. And if you're not subscribed already, click the silver subscribe button above. Now I did kind of reteach the single sided ninja star tutorials, and there's a few reasons why I did that. One, all you need is one piece of printer paper in order to make two of the stars. Two, the other ninja star is a little bit thicker and harder to interlock. Four, if you come across this tutorial first, then you don't need to watch another video in order to make the double ninja star. And three, I went through how to do the double ninja star super slow, so you shouldn't get confused.